You're watching Media Women. Coming up is The Masthead with Marie Claire. Enjoy the show. The diet I was doing was to help me sort of fewer mood swings. So I would feel better, just like an even temper throughout the day. She was finding that her mood was sort of like peaking and crashing at different points in the day and she was sort of on edge a bit. Whenever we sit around in the office, at least one member of the team is on some kind of new diet that the rest of us haven't heard of, uh, or it requires eating things in rotation, uh, and then we all end up swapping our stories. We had four writers try out different diets, and it was the whole idea that not everyone goes on a specific diet to lose weight. What we put in our bodies can really affect our energy levels, our skin. Um, our focus. I went on uh, the beauty diet, which is uh, which is by Lisa Dreyer. It includes research-based nutrition advice to enhance your appearance, specifically what to eat for glowing skin, fuller hair, healthier nails, brighter eyes, and whiter teeth. Sweet potatoes, blueberries, dark chocolate, and you know a number of other foods like low-fat yogurt. So you try to get at least one of those foods into each meal every day. The foods that we eat actually provide are features with important beauty nutrients. I do believe, and I don't know if it's in my head, that I had a healthier glow. It helped regulate everything in her life and just you know, settled her skin down, it brought down the inflammation, there was not as much redness, so it was effective as well, which we were happy about. I did a story about eating for energy. I spoke to Ashley Koff, who is a nutritionist based in LA. I work in an office, and around 4 p.m. every day, I just want to take a nap and sometimes I do. Sometimes I actually lie on my desk for several minutes. <laughs> she says you need to eat every three hours. She calls them eating occasions. And at each eating occasion you need a fat, a carb, and a protein. She is a vegetarian. She had this habit of sort of carb loading and then crashing and, and uh, she wanted to keep that going and, and without overdoing it with the coffee. I started keeping hummus in the office and carrots and celery. Um, nuts are great because they're both fat and protein. Um, so there are a lot of foods that would count for two categories, so it actually became much easier than it originally sounded. The diet I was doing was to help me sort of fewer mood swings, so I would feel better, just like an even temper throughout the day. She went and spoke to a woman named Susan Kleiner who, who wrote a book called The Good Mood Diet. And since I eat dinner so late, I was definitely reaching for things like chocolate or candy in the afternoon, which was definitely going to give me a spike in energy, and then I would crash later. So this diet helped me get things like eating yogurt more in the afternoons and then having a good high protein snack in the evenings before dinner so that I would be able to sustain my energy. It was really very interesting watching them try different plans and for each woman the plan because they stuck to it actually did work and it sort of boosted their confidence that they could feel that they were more in control of what they were eating in the future. We're here at Save Fashion. Um, it's a new pop-up space in Port Authority. It's a collaboration between Refinery29 and Launch Collective. And what it is, is that they brought together all these great New York designers to come in here and discount their amazing clothes. I think there's a big re-examination of quality going on. I think there's a big re-examination of price structure and of trying to get people into the stores to think about clothes in a different way, building a, a, a really long-lasting investment wardrobe. I have some really great Rogan t-shirts, um, and they're just kind of painted and fun and really comfortable looking. I would actually love to try this on, but it's by Acne, and I think it's gorgeous, and the, the uh, price is fantastic. There's some amazing deals we have designers such as Rag and Bone. It's just a really interesting idea, I think. Um, great location, good assortment of brands. We tried to come up with a concept that we felt kind of restored the joy in shopping and the joy in, you know, discovering new designers. Some of these designers are really New York designers that some people may never have a chance to buy. We wanted to create a space for them where they felt excited about being, where they were in the company of other great designers that they respected and that they liked. We're in a sort of new echelon of brands that aren't necessarily designer price point, but aren't mass contemporary brands either. So 
it's almost it's a new niche, if you like. What we try and do is really show you the trends that are worth buying more cheaply and then the things that we think are worth spending money on that will last you. Feel the burst of skin-loving moisture in new Go Fresh Body Wash in nectarine and white ginger scent. It's a juicy new way to go fresh. The juicy goodness of burst also comes in a bar. I've traveled for the past three years to seven different countries around the world and it has just broadened my horizons more than any experience I think I'll ever, I'll ever have in my life. Just seeing the realities of poverty and the different realities of hunger that people struggle with every day, um, it's just hard to imagine without seeing it. And that's sort of why I've taken photographs throughout my journeys, just as a way to sort of bring it back and convey what I've seen and experienced to everyone else at home.